When working in a course in Schoology, you may run into different file types that are easier to use than others. The rule of thumb on Chromebooks is that because this is a Chrome, um, it's a Chromebook made by Google, the Google file types, the Google Docs, the Google Sheets, the Google Slides, they work the easiest without problem. And many people use that format when creating things. It's a little more difficult to use other file types from things like Microsoft Word or Excel or PowerPoint on a Chromebook, but there is some functionality that Schoology can help provide and Google can help provide the other part. So let's take a look at an assignment in Schoology and see what we can do. Here we have an assignment in a course where I need to write some vocabulary definitions out. So this is definitely something that I will have to use and write on or edit and hand back in. But I'll talk about two different scenarios here. Um, the first is I'm taking a look at the file and I'm seeing it's a Word document. So I see the icon that kind of gives it away with the W and the DOCX at the end of the file name. So that means that this is a Word document. Definitely not one of the file types that I can just start using on a Chromebook, you know, out of the box. There are some extensions that can help you with that for Chrome, but this is assuming you don't have that. Next to the file, there's usually a view option. So I want to show this to you very quickly because you may want to just read the file, say it's a syllabus or something that you don't have to edit. You don't need Microsoft Word in order to view it. You can just click on view and Schoology will open it for you. But notice you can't really edit it. There are no tools to start typing. You can download it from here if you view it and then change your mind and say you want to download it. So that view link is pretty handy. Uh, if I knew right away that I wanted to edit this file, I know that I'm going to have to download it and translate it into Google Docs format. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the file and it downloaded very quickly. Uh, Word files are typically kind of small when they're blank. And there is an uh, option here to show in the folder. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to take me to the Chromebook where I have downloads. And there may not be a whole lot here because typically the school Chromebooks, when they reboot, the files are cleared out in this downloads area. So if you're going to download something, do something with it right away so it isn't lost. So this is actually the files program on the Chromebook. So if you go to the search area and look for files, you'll find this as well if um, you need to open this up on your own but it opened it up automatically for me because I've just downloaded it and said, show it to me. So here's the folder or the file that I just downloaded. And what I want to do is get it into my drive. So be careful. You want to be logged into the Chromebook that with the user account where you want these files to go, should you need to download anything. So, so I'm going to just click and drag and drop over on where it says my drive and it should have copied it. And it did. And here I can see it, unit vocabulary blank, DOCX. It's got that W, so I know it's in Word format. Now, you may have an extension where you can just double click this and open it. And then you could actually edit this. It's still in Word format though. So that's one option. The second option I would probably say is a little bit more um, likely. And that is you go into your Google Drive. So I would go into Spyglass, go into Google Drive, open up my drive and look at it there and convert it. So here I see it, it is in the W with the icon there. And what I would do is highlight it, go to the three dots, open with Google Docs. And it does a conversion for me. If it's a pretty complicated document with lots and lots of tables, it may get a little jumbled. So uh, just you know, kind of be prepared for that. But it came through pretty nice. Uh, now it's no longer a W, it's this docs icon, which is what I wanted. I just have this thing where I do not like to have docx on the end of Google Documents. And you may wanna put your name in the name of the document if you're gonna be handing this in. And here I can just edit like a normal Google Doc. So there you have it. Um, we covered um, how to read a Word document in Schoology and how to download it and convert it to Google Drive format. Thank you.